Welcome to Special Topics in Vendor-Specific Systems. This will be an introduction to Common Commercial Electronic Health Record, EHR, systems used in ambulatory and inpatient care settings. The learning objectives for the Common Commercial Electronic Health Record, EHR, systems used in ambulatory and inpatient care settings unit are number 1. Describe the mission and vision of HIMSS and CLASS and how their respective resources can be used to research EHR systems. And two, describe common and distinguishing features of common EHR systems. The HIMSS vision is to advance the best use of information management systems for the betterment of healthcare and its mission is to lead healthcare transformation to the effective use of health information technology. I'd like to point out the use of the term transformation. HIMSS mission is not to automate healthcare, but rather to transform healthcare through the effective use of information technology. This is a very important concept. HIMSS is a membership organization. It provides global leadership for optimal use of information technology. IT, and management systems for healthcare. HIMSS was founded in 1961, has offices worldwide, and it represents more than 52,000 members. It has 380 corporate members and nearly 30 not-for-profit organizations. So not surprisingly, HIMSS takes a lead role in framing healthcare policy and industry practice through its educational, professional development, and its many advocacy initiatives, trying to promote quality health care for patients. HIMSS produces many products. There's an extensive collection of industry research reports. It produces daily IT news, and there's an extensive collection of topics and tools. For example, there are tools for EHR professionals, which are materials that can be used to supplement knowledge, factors, and trends in the use of electronic health records. These are just a few dimensions. Please note that given the mixed membership, which includes vendors, HIMSS does not contain vendor comparisons and product reviews. CLASS, on the other hand, does deliver product reviews and vendor comparisons. CLASS is independently owned and operated and was founded by Kent Gale. The name class comes from the first initial of its founders, Kent Gale, Leonard Black, Adam Gale, and Scott Holbrook. The name is a play on words similar to class, as best in class. Its headquarters are in Utah, and it is staffed by independent researchers working throughout the country. Its business focuses solely on healthcare technology. CLASS's mission is to improve healthcare technology delivery by honestly, accurately, and impartially measuring vendor performance. One of its main functions is to help providers make informed decisions about vendor performance. They produce a performance database which does real-time performance rating on all of the market, vendors, and products, and it's freely accessible to healthcare providers. In addition, CLASS develops reports based on performance or perception of specific healthcare technology segments and reports on performance advisory services, along with custom research for customers. Vendors purchase costly reports and use them to track their own performance in the market. These reports permit vendors to monitor how they are rated by their own customers. Providers use class reports and findings to understand products and vendor strengths and weaknesses. They can screen prospective vendors for narrowing their search. Class reports can be used to research and produce influential proposals. They can be used to manage risk and exposure, being informed on price, contract issues, and very importantly, common complaints from peer providers. In addition, after purchasing products from a vendor, the provider organization could set realistic expectations for their organization based on experiences of others, and probably, more importantly, it can save time on performing research. While CLASS does focus solely on healthcare technology, its range of services and scope has expanded over the years. In 1997, 
when the company was founded. The main focus was solely on healthcare technology software and vendors. Now, providers can use the services for various aspects, such as purchasing and negotiating decisions. In 2004, Class expanded its portfolio to rate service firms. Service firms are those that do implementation, consulting, planning, assessments, assistance with vendor selection, and other business process outsourcing. In 2005, Class further expanded to review medical equipment companies selling products such as MRI scanners. Let's review how Class produces its ratings for a software. It uses 25 questions, and each question is rated based on a scale of 1 to 9, where 1 is poor and 9 is excellent, and when applicable, a yes or a no response. Questions involve sales and contracting, implementation and training, functionality and upgrades, service and support, and other general questions. Each question is weighted equally, and the rating is a total score based on a 100-point scale. Some of the criteria used in software evaluation includes contract and experience, money's worth, avoid nickel and diming, quality of training, ease of use, product response time, supports integration goals, quality of phone and web support, importantly, executive involvement, keeps promises, overall communication, overall satisfaction, and the extremely important question, would you buy it again? Moreover, is it ranked as the client's best vendors? The responses to these questions form the basis of a class rating score. Let's review class ratings for acute care electronic health record systems. These are software products that provide core inpatient functionality, such as clinical data repository, CDR, order entry, including CPOE, results reporting, clinical charting, and documentation. CLASS divides this type of software into two groups, larger inpatient facilities, over 200 beds, and small inpatient facilities, 200 beds or less. Here are the top 10 acute care EHR vendors and their overall score in the category of inpatient facilities over 200 beds. In the top five are Epic, Cerner, McKesson, Meditech, and Siemens. Notice that Cerner and Meditech and McKesson appear multiple times in the top 10. That is because they sell different product suites. Cerner, in second place, is rated based on its CareNet clients. Whereas Cerner, in the seventh position, are clients reviewing Cerner where they have PowerChart, Power Orders, and CareNet. PowerChart being the charting component, Power Orders being the order entry module, and CareNet being nurse charting. Some interesting findings can be seen in the overall scores. There's quite a large spread between the first and second position where Epic has a nearly 88 score, followed in second place by Cerner with 78, whereas afterwards Cerner compared to McKesson and others very rapidly start to hover around the same numbers. This indicates a rather large spread between the first, second, and third place vendors. Let's now review the top 10 acute care EHR vendors and their products in the area of inpatient facilities under 200 beds. Notice on this screen that Epic doesn't even show up. Cerner drops to fifth place and other vendors move into first, second, third, fourth position. In addition, the top score is not nearly as high as it was in the over 200 bed, where Epic had nearly a score of 88. Here, McKesson scores 81, but once again, after 10 points from the third position down, you'll notice that most of the vendors score around the same score. Let's now look at class ratings for ambulatory EHRs. These are software solutions for clinic and practice management that provide charting, orders, prescriptions, and other EHR functionality. Here, the divisions are a little more complicated because of the way physicians organize themselves. First, the large groups are over 100 physicians, followed by 26 to 100, then 6 to 25, 2 to 5 physicians, and finally, solo physicians. So let's now look at top 10 ambulatory. 
EHRs in the over 100 position category. You'll notice several similar vendors. Epic, GE, Cerner, Eclipsis, McKesson are on the list. And in the second and the ninth place are two vendors that didn't appear in the inpatient EHR listings, NextGen and eClinicalWorks. That's because these companies only sell ambulatory EHR products. Epic, once again, has a very high score compared to the second place position. In fact, even higher. It's greater than 10 points higher than the second place vendor, NextGen. There's a rather quick drop off by the fourth position, and then all of the vendors are in the 60s. Let's look now at the 26 to 100 physician group. Epic still holds first place. Another vendor comes into second place that hasn't appeared before and several others. New vendors are on the list and many disappeared. As you can determine, vendors sell to different size physician practice groups. And now, looking at the 6 to 26 physician groups, there are even bigger changes. Epic and others are all gone and many other companies are now selling into this sector. There's an overall higher satisfaction in these groups, where the top four all score in the 80s, probably reflecting that it is easier to implement systems in smaller businesses than it is in very large businesses, increasing customer satisfaction. At this point, let's turn our attention to five of the top vendors in the list that we've reviewed. These are not the top five vendors. They just appear regularly in the top 10 in the different categories. Therefore, we will review them. We will now review each of these companies based on publicly available information found on their websites. Epic makes software for mid-size and large medical groups, hospitals, and integrated healthcare organizations. It brags that it's on time on-budget track record is one of the best. As we reviewed before, class rates them very highly. Differently from other vendors, Epic develops, installs, and supports all their applications in-house with very little use of third-party consultants or implementation specialists. Epic was founded in 1979. It's private and employee-owned, with only 190 customers on their website, they claim to support 150,000 physicians. That would be one in four U.S. physicians are currently using EPIC systems. Cerner, on the other hand, is a much larger company with 8,000 clients worldwide. Founded in the same year, 1979, the three founders, Neil Patterson, Cliff Illig, and Paul Gorup, continue to lead the company. In 2000, Cerner bet the company's future on a person-centric architecture called Cerner Millennium. Cerner has 21,000 associates worldwide, 4,800 of which are staffed in Kansas City with 8,000 clients, hospital physician, practice ambulatory facilities, home health facilities, and retail pharmacies. Its 2014 revenues were $3.4 billion, with a net earning of $525.4 million. Cerner is traded on NASDAQ. Allscripts has more than 7,000 employees at 20 locations worldwide. Its 2015 revenues were $1.4 billion. Allscripts is traded on NASDAQ. Allscripts serves a number of different types of clients, including 180,000 physicians, 45,000 physician offices, 2,500 hospitals, 19,000 post-acute facilities, 100,000 electronic prescribing physicians, and 40,000 in-home clinicians. Allscripts provides a full suite of health solutions, offering healthcare providers, payers, and life sciences companies globally a complete portfolio of clinical, financial, population health management, transaction, and managed IT services, as well as other solutions. A brief history of Allscripts. They were founded in 1986 and merged with the healthcare systems operation of MISIS in 2008. Shortly after, in 2010, Allscripts Mysis merged with Eclipsis. 
In March 2013, all scripts acquired DB Motion Limited, a supplier of Community Health Solutions and Jar Dogs LLC, a patient engagement solution provider. Meditech again is a very different company from the first three. Its mission is to provide software that enables physicians, nurses, and other clinicians to orchestrate and deliver patient care in a safe, effective, and efficient manner. It's an integrated software solution suite that ensures access to a full electronic record with data from across the continuum. Meditech is another long-standing company with over 40 years developing, installing, and supporting its information systems. It was founded in 1969 by the developers of MUMPS, a language used in healthcare information technology. Neil Papalardo and Kurt Marble developed MUMPS on a DEC PDP-11 at Mass General Hospital. It has worldwide markets with over 2,200 customers with more than 3,000 staff members. Its revenues in 2008 were nearly $400 million, and it's a privately held company. Evident is another company that, since 1979, as CPSI, has been developing, installing, and supporting healthcare information systems for rural communities. CPSI is a leading provider of healthcare information and EHR solutions for community hospitals. Over 1,400 technical, healthcare, medical, and business professionals provide system implementation and continuing support services as part of Evident's comprehensive program. Software solutions include Evident Community HIS, Evident Patient Care Clinicals, and Evident Patient Management. This concludes the lecture on commercial EHR. The summary of this lecture is that number one, we've reviewed how to use HIMSS and its treasure trove of resources. Number two, we've reviewed how to use class and rate vendors and compare products. And number three, we've reviewed five of the top companies in the industry showing information that's publicly available that can help you understand the origin of the companies, their mission, the size of the companies, who their clients are, and some of the products that they sell.